to the O'Leary Project. Today we answer the question that has been on everybody's mind. Have you ever wondered why wedding traditions are what they are? Let's get to work. So let's start with one of the bigger and well-known traditions. Why in the world does the bride wear white? Well, wearing white became popular because of Queen Victoria whenever she married Prince Albert in 1840. She wore a white lace wedding dress, which was not popular at the time. Funnily enough, though, Mary, Queen of Scots, actually wore white to her wedding in 1559 to her first husband, Francis Dauphin of France but it did not gain the popularity that Queen Victoria did whenever she wore her dress. Yes, and before the popular white dresses, um, Europeans and American brides had been wearing a wide variety of different colors, including blue, yellow, black, brown, gray, and even red dresses. But because of Queen Victoria, white symbolized wealth and social status. Get on that train. So... What about the wedding cake? Where did that come from? Well, the contemporary wedding cake has come from many different traditions. There was even a tradition from ancient Rome that was a cake of wheat or barley was broken over the bride's head as a sign of good fortune, something. But even in the 16th and 17th century, there was bride's pie, which was served, and it was more savory than sweet, and it was filled with oysters, pine kernels, even coxcomb. And guests were expected to eat this in politeness. And if not, it was considered bad luck. Don't go to one of those weddings. Um, one tradition that was associated with the bride's pie was to put a glass ring in one of the pieces. The maiden to find the ring was said to be the next to marry. That tradition turned into the bouquet toss that we all know and love. Well, what about the traditions surrounding the cake? I mean, we went on the cake, but what about the traditions around it? Where did all those come from? Well, um, the bride actually used to distribute the cake out to the guests herself. But as weddings became larger and there were more guests, the groom would help her. But as the weddings became larger, so did the cake. The cake had more tiers, and so the icing became thicker in order to support the cake. And so it was physically needed to have two people to cut the cake. And so that's where that tradition came from, cutting the cake together. Yes, and once that tradition began, the bride and groom would share a piece to symbolize union and promise to forever provide for one another. And I tried to figure out why... You shove the cake in the other person's face, and I came up with nothing. So we think it's for fun. Just and over it time. came out of humor and maybe an accident or anger. Who knows? <laughs> we don't. Um, so, well, going back to the reception, whenever the bride walks in, there's those songs that are played. Like, what, what are those? What are those? Well, there's actually two songs that are commonly, commonly played at the weddings. One of them is the Wedding March, which was written by Felix Mendelssohn. It was actually written for Shakespeare's play A Midsummer's Night Dream. Not for a wedding, but it was first used in a wedding by Dorothy Crewe and Tim Danick in England on June 2nd, 1847. But it was popularized, popularized by, guess who, Queen Victoria's daughter, who was also named Victoria, in her wedding when she married Prince Frederick in 1858. Wow. The Victoria family is high on the popularization <laughs> chart. Um, wait, no. There's that, other, there's that other song, though, that goes... Dun, 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 dun. What's that one? Yeah, you're right. There's the second one. The other song, that one is called Here Comes the Bride or Bridal Chorus. It was from an 1850 opera called Lewin Green, uh, written by Richard Wagner, 
and it, usually the bridal chorus is played without lyrics like when you hear it at the weddings, but it does have words to accompany the well-known tune. Hmm. Interesting stuff. So now that we have talked over some of the history and fun stuff of the wedding traditions that we all know, we are going to play a game of wedding traditions that you may not know. Some really funky ones that we have compiled from all over the globe. And so we are going to pair people up and we have some fake wedding traditions that we made up and some real, really weird ones. And we're gonna see if people can tell which one is which. The loser gets a wedding style punishment. Stay tuned for that. Not gonna wanna miss it. Let's go on to that game. All right, friends, so I'm going to read a wedding tradition to you, and you have to tell me if you think it is real or fake. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. In China, the bride-to-be is actually required to begin weeping for one hour a day for one month before the wedding. Many of the women in the bride's family were encouraged to weep as well. Three. Two, one. Jake is right. Yes. Jake has one point. In ancient Roman culture, a game would be played after the wedding ceremony where the guests would eat as many grapes off of a cluster as they could in a certain amount of time. Three, two, one. You're right. It was fake. Yeah. Um, in Wales, it's common for a man to gift his new lover with a carved wooden spoon, symbolizing that he will never allow her to grow hungry. Go hungry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Wrong! No, it's I almost true. went off. You I almost too. went off. You should have went off. Jake's still winning. In some parts of India, it is said that girls born during a certain astrological period are cursed and will cause an early death for their husband. The only way to break the curse is for the woman to first marry a tree and then have the tree cut down. Three, two, one. <laughs> Emma, you're wrong. It's real. In China, in the 1800s, the groom's mother would cut a small portion of the bride's hair with the groom's father's sword to show unity and trust within the entire family. Wait, what happened with the hair? I missed it. So the groom's mother would cut a small portion of the bride's hair with the groom's father's sword. Okay. So her That's husband's sword. Yeah. To show mm -hmm. unity and trust within the entire family. I should just do what I've been doing. Three, two, one. It is false. You are both right. Okay. So got made it. that one up. You it was good. I was like, <laughs> Mulan. That's what I thought. I was yep. like, it can't be true. It's too okay. much Mulan. Exactly. That's where I got the inspiration. Yeah, that was five. Emma is the loser. No. In Scotland, a pre-wedding tradition consists of the bride and groom being pelted with food trash, including fish and rotten eggs. The Scots believe that, it, that if a couple can withstand this, their marriage can withstand anything. <laughs> I have, this is, oh, this is fantastic. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. This is a wish guess. It is real. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite one. In Germany, it is said to bring good fortune and lifelong love to a couple if they set a piece of their wedding cake on fire. Three, two, one. Abby's right. Is they nah. knew it. I made that up. Better start picking the loser punishment. <laughs> okay. All right. Fighting words. Okay. Wearing mismatched socks is a common wedding tradition in Japan. The groom would wear one sock of the bride's favorite color and the one and one for his favorite color. Hmm. Three, two. Elijah's right. Okay. I made that one up. I was so proud of myself. Gotcha. <laughs> in China, when a groom comes to get his bride, he must first break through an aggressive wall of her angry bridesmaids. The bridesmaids <laughs> demand money from this him and put him through a series of silly performances and tasks, all meant to prove just how strong his love really is. <laughs> I really want this to be true. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 
It is true. It is true. Abby. Pick with a head. Maybe you should be picking your punishment now. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Dang it, though. <laughs> In Germany, the bride would be kidnapped by the groom's men the night before the wedding. The groom would have to rescue her before midnight. If he failed to rescue her in time, it was believed the marriage wouldn't last. Three, two, one. It is not true. Dang it. Stop stole that from the office. Yeah. <laughs> I don't watch that. I win, and Abby has to have a punishment after she told me to get one. She said. In a portion of China, there is a tradition that requires engaged couples to dissect a chicken and check out its liver. If the liver is healthy, the couple can set a date. If not, they can't plan their nuptials until they find one that is. Three, two, one. You're right. Yes! In Puerto Rico, brides would bathe in the ocean the day before their wedding. This caused, this cleansed her of all of her past relationships, preparing her for her husband-to-be. Three, two, one. You're right, I made it up. During Greek weddings, the bride and groom share a traditional dance, during which guests pin money to their clothing. Mm. Three, two, one. You're right. <laughs> in Papua New Guinea in jungle, in the Papua New Guinea in jungle, <laughs> there is a tribe that paints their bodies and wears feathers to impress the women. They are called the Sing Sings, and they are supposed to imitate the mating rituals of male birds. When they die, are they called the Song Song? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, I was going down. Matt, you're wrong. It's true. Ooh. A tradition from South America would be for the groom's family to gift a fruit tree to the new couple as a sign of fertility and long life. <sighs> Three, two, one. Matt, you're right. I made that up. Oh, tied tied. Tied. I'm handing out the punishments now. Oh boy. Well, they get to pick actually. Together, Matt. Together Ready? Forever. Close your eyes and pick. <laughs> oh, we got one. Wow. Gee, I don't know. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, I got rice filter. Take the cake to the face. I don't want this one. <laughs> oh, oh, you got that one? Yeah. Ah. Rice pelting. Sorry, Matt. Cake, cake to, to the, the face. face. Abby? Super fancy outfit to a fast food restaurant. What's up? Hey, I'm a nice person. I traded with Abby. Abby's a nice person. She traded with Emma. Oh. Because I this one might be interesting. I get my heart's desire. I kind of wanted Abby rice pelting rice, now yes. that I thought about it, but I kind of want. Throw rice I'd be a nice. I wanted cake. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. In my face. I'll just take them all. Oh, we'll still put cake Thanks. in your face. Time to get the dressing. <laughs> You're welcome, Abby. <laughs> Someone to hold my wallet? <laughs> Alright, Emma. Wow. Look at her strut and stuff. smile at people. <laughs> yep, just roll with it. Thanks. Oh, yes. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> She's the fool. She lost a game, so she had to come to Chick fil A and buy. Yes, one cookie. for here, man. No. Now we to go. Yep. So one cookie for who? Emma. Rob? Make me pay for it? Here we go. Don't go. Joke's on you, I'm going to do it for free. Oh! Very nice, thank you. My boy. Yep. 
Off that. It's kind of smells okay though. It could be worse. It's just seed. Oh, Are you ready? Yep. yep. I want oh, to see no. that wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> they got more on their foreheads than their faces. <laughs> I think we both kind of instinctively Look put our me. heads down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, I can see where I hit your eye. Awesome your hairdo. I love yeah. It. <laughs> I, wonder what, I wonder what those people are thinking over there. Yeah. yeah. I wanted cake. Sorry, Emma. In my face. I'll just take them all. Well, we'll still put cake Thanks. in your face. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> <laughs> Why is she gonna get the other piece? Don't forget that I was in the dirt, so don't lick it. I got your hair. <laughs> she needs to even out. Get her other side of the face. <laughs> Emma, when, hey, when someone throws cake at your one cheek, turn the other cheek. Yeah. So today we had a very interesting um, subject to answer a question to. Um, I thought it was particularly interesting to learn about how the cakes began. Um, yeah, the I... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That, no, so far off. Uh, yeah, I thought it was cool, like the, how the bride served the wedding cake. I might do that. Yeah, that's, that's like cool. servanthood. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. But I thought a lot of the research was cool because it was just like a bunch of different things. It was like a bunch of things. So that was cool. If you guys have, um, if you guys have any idea or theories of where the cake shoving face. <laughs> it's cake shoving face that uh, thing. tradition came from let us know because I mean I think that's a cool tradition but yeah and of course if there are any strange traditions that you've come across please comment them below we'd like to see them look them up research them a little bit further because like I said this was a very interesting one to go through um, as for the game I can't believe that John and I could not vote against each other all but once Twice. 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 But those two times you split it. Yeah. You yeah. There was only two yeah. times out of who knows how many that we <laughs> voted the same way. But it's crazy to think that many of those were actually true. Yeah. There were some. There were some crazy ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Also, so follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, because there will probably be some fun stuff on there, like bloopers, like we just made one a couple <laughs> seconds ago. We might be making one right now. We don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> also, like this video, please, and subscribe to our channel. Um, I think that's it, Emma. I, I think really that do. is it. So, please, don't forget to stay on top. And see you next, next week. I don't know when this became a thing, but it's a fun thing. Yeah. Where'd that con tradition oh, have come? Have you ever wondered? Hey, I don't know if this is going to go in the video, but Matt kind of cut me off. <laughs> But a weird, weird tradition that I know of, if any of you guys know what a cookie table is, let us know because I think it's from like Western PA, which is where my family comes from. And uh, yeah, you just have a bunch of cookies as like 
an appetizer type thing and it's incredible it's a great so, way to save on appetizer money because you just tell everybody to bring cookies like, hey, instead bring of cookies yeah and it's real good so yeah figured i'd tell you that stay on inspire top. you bye Matt, we'll see you later <laughs>